is this exactly what Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, did to make sure that his daughter never spoke to him again? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. Today, we're outside the Treasury Building in the heart of Whitehall. This is where all our money, apparently, is accumulated by the tax office and then decided how to spend. I'm hoping to stand out here for some time and hopefully <laughs> they may chuck out a few pounds. You never know. We could always do with a little help. As uh, a famous supermarket says here, every little helps. But as ever, back to your royal story of the day. Well, this particular world story has more of a serious note because last week we saw Thomas Markle once again take to the airwaves to basically tell all about his daughter who still refuses to acknowledge him or indeed see him. But with greater investigation, a lot of people are now wondering, is there really more to this particular story than Thomas or other family members are basically saying? Now, as we know, Thomas really made that classic faux pas by allowing to be photographed by the paparazzi at the very start of that big media onslaught for Harry and Meghan prior to the royal wedding. And we are told that this was the reason why Harry and Meghan decided to back away from him, because they couldn't trust him. Now, when you think about it, this is a guy who did know exactly how the media works, but he's apologised on numerous occasions. And now, well into his mid-70s, it's very difficult for him to comprehend exactly, is that the only thing he did? Is that the reason why Meghan or Harry simply want nothing to do with him? Now, as we told you here also on the show, allegedly Prince Harry and Meghan apparently plan to tell their side of the version of events through Harry's book when it's released next year. But a lot of people are now, including thanks to Meghan's reticence to reach out to her father, are pondering, is there a bigger picture there? Is there something else that perhaps Thomas is not revealing? Well, according to good sources, he's been very honest, doesn't understand because he did everything for his daughter, paid for her education, and apparently had a marvellous relationship right up until her meeting Prince Harry. So what changed? According to insiders, what changed was that Harry and Meghan decided they didn't like the way that he conducted himself prior to the wedding, and those infamous paparazzi shots were apparently the final straw. It does seem a bit odd that that could be the only thing that she can't forgive him for. Now, for Thomas himself, he's still claiming that he will return to any television channel every month that will have him to sort of update people on whether or not his daughter or Prince Harry have got in touch with him, which apparently they're still refusing to do. But a lot of people are speculating, well, if it was such a big crime, could she not get over that? And indeed, Prince Harry could not forgive and forget and move forward given the fact on their websites they're always basically claiming about empathy, friendship and forgiveness. It seems the one thing they can't forgive is Thomas Markle's one and only indiscretion. And for that and for them moving their brand forward as they say, this is going to be very difficult to market when you consider that Harry's cut off his entire family and Meghan's cut off hers. Now a lot of people say, well where's the mother gone, Doria? Why doesn't she speak? Well, again, we're told there could be something of a fractious relationship there. Now, she could be just doing the good thing, allegedly, of keeping a low profile and saying nothing, which is done throughout. But when you look back at that world wedding, what a tragedy to think that the only people that Meghan Markle seemingly could invite to her big day were ex-work colleagues and a few people that she'd never even met but thought might be good further down the line, including Oprah Winfrey and the Cloonies. That gives a very strong indication as to where, as Thomas Markle's often repeated, her head and her mind is now. And he's often said also, she's not the daughter that I now know. If Meghan and Harry really do want to make a success of their charitable, well, <laughs> endeavours moving forward, as I've often said here on the show, the one thing they need to do is start to look at home first. Harry really needs to reconnect back to senior members of the British Worlds and show forgiveness. And I think for Meghan to find any goodwill here in the United Kingdom, she needs to make sure that she makes up with her father Thomas before it's simply too late. Neil Sean in the heart of London.